Hey guys, this is Ellison Cruz, and I bet you guys are wondering, hey Elfson, why aren't we at the finale? I thought this was supposed to be the finale episode. Well, I didn't want to end it on a, you know, a note of us doing side quests and stuff. We're actually going to end on the finale, and uh, a little bit of trivia for you. I've actually already recorded that, but that's only because we have to beat the arson case in order to actually do the street crimes for this. But you'll notice that Roy Earl Jones is my partner, and that's because we missed a couple from before. We missed two. Now, I've restarted this several times, and one of them is not showing up in this area right here, and it's pissing me off, and it's supposed to be one where you actually get to investigate at the street crime, which is something we've never done before, and it's the only time we can actually, like, do, a, like, an investigation in a street case. So now we've only got uh, this one, which I think is, like, the zoot suit or something, and that's the only one we're missing, and then we've... And then, I don't know if it's glitched or not, but sometimes it'll appear, the one that was over here, it's gonna appear in the... In the arson case, uh, free roam. So I'll meet you guys way over here in just a moment. All right, here we are. Yes, the Zoot Suit Riot. And Zoot Suits were stuff in the, I think, the 1920s where people wore those. And they were, like, supposed to be really big. And I love how Cole is just like, oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, it's something to do with my history book. And I completely hey, forgot about it, but... Move along. This is private property. Of course it is. Sir, we're with the LAPD. We had a report of a burglary in progress at this address. <laughs> oh, no, no, no burglary. <laughs> These guys all work nights here. <laughs> Look Thank how nicely you. they're dressed up. It's Mario and Luigi. Exactly. What? Uh oh. He's like, I took out my gun. But now we're gonna take out his. Alright, he's dead. I completely wasted a bullet on that asshole. Last time I checked, my uh, accuracy was actually at 68.7%, which is hilarious. Oh my god. Except not really. Reload. One more. Oh, never mind. Crap. I'm gonna get a shot off. Ah, great. Alright, let's head in there. We gotta be careful. Actually, I kinda wanna grab my gun. Actually, let's let's put on an outfit, shall we, instead of the sunset strip? <laughs> um, I think right now we'll just put on the hawk shot since all we got is a pistol. But, uh, now it's dark in here, so you're gonna wanna be careful because we're gonna have to... Uh, what are we waiting for? Uh, use their shots of light. Are on the way. Cease and desist. We gotta find their asshole. We gotta find their asshole in this pile of shit. Now let's run over here. Okay, that guy appeared incredibly conspicuously. All right, let's kill the asshole up top. I hate people who attack from up top. Oh god, that was so delayed. Jesus Christ. Okay. Getting my chances of a high, you know, accuracy rating in this go terribly low. There. Oh, you did not just knock off my hat, you son of a bitch. Fine, I kill your boss. You you shoot my hat off. We're even. How is it getting hurt? God damn it! That guy has such a weird shooting stance. I hate using my pistol now. Ugh. I'm not. I'm just not used to it. All right, come on. Let's not fail. This is really easy. It's just. Oh, now we're getting slow down. Okay, thanks for aiming at someone completely different. What the? Okay. Nice shot, Cole. And then this guy, come on. Show your face. Come on. He's not hitting me. Okay, there. It didn't move when I wanted it to. I was expecting it to go slightly. Come on. Roy. There's stairs we can go up to get that last asshole. All right, if you're going to kill him, if you're going to shoot at him, just fucking kill him, man. There. Wake up, I killed every single fucking whore in this area. And I can pick up my hat. Yes, I love how I did the little twirl there. Ah, uh, Roy, I swear to God, if you kill that last guy, I'm going to murder you. And if you guys remember that one level, I forgot what it's called. It's the one where we had to shoot at in the warehouse. This is like almost the exact same upper half of it. There, God. I just would rather always aim for like, you know, the clear headshot. But whatever. But anyway, so yeah, like I said, there's only supposed to be five street cases in the arson unit. However, sometimes even this case might even appear in the arson thing, which I think is just a really weird glitch. So I'll meet you guys in arson, and I'll see if I could find it. So I'll be right back. Well, now, you guys, well, it looks like this game is just loving to fuck with me right now. This is the only one that's appearing here, and I'm 
pretty sure that after we do this one, all the others will appear because that's basically how it's been every time I've had to do this. So we're just going to go ahead and get started on this one. And this one's just right off of Alvarado and Six. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And I'll meet you guys there in a second. All right, here we have this case, accident prone. Now, this one is uh, really kind of weird. So. Notify the coroner's office. Looks like a hit and run. Get him this easy. <laughs> Driver left his car behind and hoofed it. Wow, what an asshole. None of them saw the crash, but by the blood, I'd say the driver can't be too far. <laughs> God, that thing seemed to have really weird depth perception. Did anyone see where the driver went? <laughs> I saw a guy run up that alley. Well, now. So, now we have to locate the hit and run suspect, so we're gonna go check out this alley and. Oh, look! Blood on the ground. That can't be suspicious. Huh. Then we got blood over here at this dumpster. Hmm. Seems like the blood is actually leading somewhere, so I think we gotta go check it out. What's this? More blood next to this car, or truck, I guess. Man, hoping there's a handprint over there. Looks like this, looks like the perp can't be far. Hmm. Well, damn. This looks like a waste of time, just a no good... Hey! You! Asshole! Alright, come on. Hit me. Hit me! Boom, boom, boom. Hit me! <laughs> yeah, shut up. I should probably be wearing the Broderick, but come on, let's kick your ass some more. I don't want to grapple. Yeah, yeah! Whoa, yeah! Into the metal dumpster with a bunch of splintery, woody, wood piles of wood and Biggs just looking over at the side. How do you fall asleep at the wheel? Never mind. Probably happens every day. So, this guy... Apparently, we know him from a previous case, no but criminal. we're so far in the game, I think it was just one of those minor characters we didn't give a shit about. But, uh, Biggs apparently is having a good chuckle out of it. Oh, okay, now I guess we can check on the stupid fucking thing now. So we have 35 street crimes, and like I said, there's only supposed to be 5 on the arson case, which means we'd be missing one if we got all the ones that are supposed to appear here. So, cool. Nothing else has appeared and they're all like down here too and how I got them to appear last time I was mostly just driving around getting all the uh, all the I got all the these things but you won't see it because I'm recording this after so yeah all right I'm gonna go ahead and try and get those to show up so I'll be right back all right you guys I just I went ahead and uh, switched over to vice really fast and here is that street case I was just looking for so I'm gonna meet you guys there and this is the vice case so this will be the very last one in the vice case that I was telling you guys right um, when we did that other one so I'll meet you guys right at this one in just one moment all right guys here we are with bad dates dun, dun, dun. and with this last this is the one we get the investigation with he got fresh, he got shy, he got angry. Hmm. Witness has him late 40s, six foot, light shirt, dark trousers. Wow, he kind of just gotta still rolled that off the tongue, didn't he? Detective. She's not even cold. Damn. We got there fast. We were like across the goddamn town. So now, we have to, um, now it depends. He might not spawn if you don't get the clues, but basically what we have to do is probably the easiest investigation of all time. We just have to make sure that she died the way that we think she did, which blunt is obviously force blunt force trauma. Must have grabbed the first thing to hand and clocked her with it. Yes, he clocked her. He clocked her ass. All right, with his cock. And then head over here and move over, buddy. And we got blood. Yep. So you could try going up there, I guess. I wasn't gonna bother because I didn't want to. Didn't really feel like wasting time. But those are the only clues you need. Wait a second. God damn, we are fast. Just think of how, you know, <laughs> okay. Just think of how efficient they were back in the 40s and think of how much we're not today. Nah, just kidding. But anyway, come on, buddy. Now we're in, we're in brawling mode, apparently. <laughs> While he's trying to break dance at that door. All right. Yeah, buddy. Wait, I want to push him off. Just for fun. Let's push him off. We haven't done that since the very beginning of the game. We haven't pushed anybody off. Let's do it. We could handcuff him, but at this point, I don't care. I've already beaten the game. Let's just do it. Oh, no! You asshole! You made me drop my hat! He 
touched my breast! Ah, die. Oh, you got. Okay, I'm just punching now. I'm not even being tactical. Yeah, you deserve to die. You murdered a lady. Okay. There. Yeah! Oh, what? He didn't fall off. For the love of God, why? And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of the Vice Desk Street Crimes. It's like, ah, yep, you deserve to die, but of course you didn't. So I gotta put you in. Gotta do all the paperwork. God damn it. Alright, I'll meet you guys over at the arson unit. It's beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so they happen to appear here. So we have only the four left in this one. Uh, so we're gonna start with this one, and then we're gonna head off. And we're gonna do this one. Then then go to this one, and then end on this one. Because right now we have 36, and this will be 40. So I bet you guys are excited about that. I'll see you in just a moment. Alright, here we are at Hot Property, and this guy apparently is uh, trying to break in, but he's doing a very oh, poor job shit. at it. Stop. He's like, God damn it, I probably shouldn't have worn this bright orange shirt. Sure makes getting away a hell of a lot harder. So this one, we basically... <laughs> Herschel gets out, and then he has to get back in. Uh, so basically, we just have to pursue him, and then uh, pull him over and shit, and that's really easy. Because there actually comes a point where he will uh, crash, but... Uh, we can also have Herschel shoot out his tires, too, so, before he gets there. But it's actually a pretty short ride, so chances are you'll probably get him. So, come on. Come on, Herschel. Yeah. So, as you can see, we're already kind of winning. Winning! Just kidding. God, that's such a dumb thing. Somebody renamed their profile to, like, It's Charlie Sheen, and then in all capitals, winning. Like, what the hell? Now, this is kind of a weird part. You want to be careful here. Lay into his wheel well. Come and it's on. after... Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's just crash this fucker. Please. Come on, Herschel. Come on. Ooh. Now, here's where he should be crashing, because as you can see, suddenly... Whoa, there. He's dead now. He is dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to get in this. I don't think we have this car yet. Oh, do we? Oh, we already do? I don't even remember picking this up to drive. We can go ahead and, uh... Okay, I guess he was gonna just sit there and wait for us. <laughs> I guess we just handcuff him. We don't punch him across the face or smack him in the back of the neck or anything. He's like, dude, you're already, like, halfway in your prison uniform, man. You should consider yourself lucky because we don't even clean half those things. He said it explains the color. Alright, here we are at bus stop shooting, and this one is kind of uh, easy. It's just kind of one of those ones where you have to kill all the people, but What's this one's different because we've been at this Some bus stop. There's been one too many shot. murders here, bub. Move fast, sir. There are still people inside. Hmm. I love how nonchalantly he says that. He just doesn't even care. So <laughs> He's like, alright, gotta take my defensive generic stance here. Now, we're gonna probably want to change our outfit into something a bit more appealing. I hate always having to change it every time I get out, but there's the Hawkshaw, because I like that one better. Now let's pick up our gun here. Our sweet-ass Chicago Lightning that's invisible! Alright, actually a shotgun probably would have worked better for this, but who cares. So, there's gonna be a guy over there. God damn it, Herschel, he almost got in my way, and I got a lot of slowdown. Now once you kill one of the guys here, the other one's gonna uh, run away, and you're gonna want to kill him before he runs out, because he'll reunite with some buddies outside, so, so let's kill him. There we go. Alright. Now he's still gonna... They're still... They they just pulled up really fast. Like ungodly fast. And Herschel's running straight at him. And he'll usually have a shotgun, so be careful. Running over there. Being a dumbass like him. Alright. Alright, whoops. Okay, keep on shooting there, Cole. Got a little bit of trigger happy, but... uh, Unfortunately, we have our first sad face with our Mr. Herschel Biggs. Yeah. Uh. If you'll if you'll show the real rock star, that'd be very appreciated. The coroner, coroner. God, that's like the fifth time I've done that. <laughs> His foot got caught in the door. Yep, such a sad day. Job security for <laughs> for others, I guess. All right, here we are with street case number thirty-nine, cafe holdup. With this, we see the poor man die. Either sexual asphyxiation, like unfortunately. Got in the way of David Carradine, Carradine whatever. Ah, <sighs> what a sad day. So wait a second. <laughs> He's like, over here. Uh-oh. 
So it looks like they got a couple hostages here. Damn! Don't be a smart ass, bitch. We're done talking, understand? You He's like, I really like your clothes. You're very One, okay. Now, before he says five, you have two, to kill him, three. or you fail. We got that. Now they're gonna run away, and we're gonna have to kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. all. Gotta kill them all. Come on, poke your head out. Oh, what? Game. <sighs> Throw out the gun. All right, come on. And they have uh, some of those guns that we well, that we missed in the mansion, but we eventually got later. So I guess if you really wanted to risk your life doing that, then you could go and try and get it. But I think the guy on the left has it. So and now uh, for the last guy, which okay. so there we go. See, oh, and we got a really weird cutscene there, but uh, we got another corner shot again. So I will meet you guys at the very last street case. Sad face. Don't hit his feet. And last but not least, we have paper oh, sack holdup. <laughs> oh my god! What happened? So this one is just a chase scene. A a paper sack. The vag says he saw him leave. <laughs> the vag. Vagrant. You need to tell us where they went. In today's slang, it'd be that vagina, which it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Are headed for the parking lot. <laughs> Bye! Oh my god, I wish it just projectile vomited onto that generic cop's face. But here they are, they just happen, so happen, to hijack this really nice car. And then for some reason we're able to hijack this car with no problem. Whatsoever. Of course they get that one. And this one we can shoot out their tires and shit. But there's actually kind of a cool jump where we can jump into them, like literally jump into them. And but it just it kinda takes a really long time to get there, so we're I'm try I'm gonna try not to get it because most of the time you'll just end up totaling your car as well. But uh But yeah, don't worry. Whoa, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> My bad. So Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. And is this is fairly simple, kind of anticlimactic, but then again, you could do these street cases in literally any order you want. Oh god, I forgot about this little area out there. Oh, we almost murdered that lady on accident. So, uh, so yes, this is the end, you guys, the very last street case. And then in the next episode, you guys are going to see two-part finale. I've already edited it up and everything, and this is the last bit of recording I'm going to be doing for this game. Although, all my goodbyes shall be said in the next video. So it's kind of a weird loop in time, but it is... Oh! Still the same day. Oh, we're actually almost there. It's at the end of this road. Or after a turn at the end of the road. So maybe we can't destroy these guys. Looks like it's taking a while. Yeah, over there you can kind of see the jump. All right, let's see if we can do this epicness. Let's... Oh, never mind. Wrong one. <laughs> never mind, wrong one. I thought they were going to jump off that one. Whoa, did you just randomly kill somebody or did he just die for nothing? All right, let's, let's do this now. All right, here's the jump right here. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Whoa. Okay. Kind of. Real. Whoa. You guys see that I randomly speed up? Oh, wee! Ah! Boom. Yeah. We totaled ourselves. Nice. <laughs> so that's the end of the line. Get out with your hands up. It's like, God damn it! Why did you do that? I told you to keep going straight, Mac. Why did you listen? We didn't listen. And with that, we're throwing these two assholes in jail. Get in there, Bruce Willis. What happened to his friend? Was he already in there? He's like, in the fate of the second man will never be known. Unfortunately. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten another achievement, which is complete all street crimes, the long arm of the law. Yes, we are so badass, and that felt like it took so much longer than it had to, but regardless, it's 10 o'clock on the dot. So yes, I'm not going to show the other achievements for fear of spoiling those. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the next one, you guys are going to see the finale, which is the actual, you know, the actual finale of the story, not Nicholson electroplating. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you guys later.